Hi, and welcome back to Ask a Pennsylvania Dutchman. My name is Chris LaRose, and this here is Douglas Maidenford, our resident Pennsylvania Dutchman, V. Bish Boo. Hey, ich bin all right. I am okay. I'm all okay. right. Yeah, yeah. Do we have a question? We do. We have one that came in from Sam of Bucks County, PA. Bucks. Bucks County. Bucks. I said Bucks No, wait. County. Sometimes people think Burks, but... Yeah, okay. Bucks. Yeah, Bucks yeah, yeah, County. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He says, what do you think of AI? AI? Artificial intelligence. Oh, I thought it said Al. What do you think of Al? <laughs> what do you think of I Al? I have a good friend named Al. I like oh, yeah. Al. I know no, an Al too. AI, artificial intelligence. You know, oh my God. You know, my lady friend came to me the other day and she said, you yeah. know what? Yeah. You could make a lot of money if you replaced Doug with AI. She said that? Yeah. And what did you say? I said, that sounds like an all right idea. What do you mean? I mean, this AI stuff, it can do anything. You type in what you want. I can do it. anything, too. If, if you want a realistic-looking squirrel dressed up like a gladiator, AI will do it for you. But who needs a realistic-looking squirrel dressed up like a gladiator? I mean, the, the modern world has needs, Doug. I'm te oh, my God. Are you just trying to save you your really, job? What? I, I'm tr what? <sighs> this AI stuff's everywhere. Oh, it's crazy. You, it's, I hate it. You not it. now you're being serious now. I'm being serious. So you don't serious. want to replace me. Not not, not today. yet. Okay, not today. All I, right. Well, why do you hate it? I don't know. It's like I like history. I like history and I like tradition and when I see all the AI photos and things where yeah. they're they're making it look like, you know, somebody from the Victorian era or somebody standing next to Bigfoot in the 1700s, it's like Yeah. It's just going to distort people's brains and, you know, young folks a hundred years from now are going to be like, is this a real photo or oh. is this a fake photo or, oh, look, they had rocket ships. You know, this guy flew jets in the Civil War, you know, it's yeah. like, so I think it's just going to muddy the waters. And Do you think there's any benefit to it, though? Because it can do some crazy, I heard a radio story just the other day about how doctors can use it to help diagnose patients faster that's a good thing isn't i it? did hear that you know so there was a guy that uh uh one of the guys that owns the coffee shop in myerstown was saying that he uses ai he uses ai but the he also... coffee shop in myerstown uses ai yeah for what i don't i didn't ask him i was afraid but he did say that <laughs> they have the you i don't know chat 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 gpt you type in like you know math problems and oh, yeah. chemical problems yes. that people can't figure out and it'll go figure it'll spit yes. out the answer like yeah, a yeah, yeah, cancer yeah, or yeah. something yeah absolutely <clears throat> yeah so but what do you i mean are you scared of it i i don't know do you think the robots i want to know where think, the unplug button where do you think the robots are going to take over mm. Mm. yeah yeah I, I do you do well, I think people's brains go on autopilot already. Yeah, and, and this just allows for it to be even more. Yeah, they're going to just stop thinking completely, and they'll just be like, just let AI do it. And you know, this is what scares me. Yeah. If people think that the internet has the answers to all questions. Yeah, no, we have the answers to all questions. Well, no, it's like, I've met people who thought the internet had the answers to oh, all questions. okay. And I said, no, not everything is on the internet. Like, there are, you know, stories of World War II veterans doing history yeah that's that, not on the internet that's not on the internet okay. that some brainiac would be like no that google didn't say that that happened this okay. old guy must be lying so obviously the internet doesn't have everything on it but a lot of people think it does that you okay. can find everything on the internet and so if they start viewing the internet and ai as like reality as the authority oh like, as the authority if it's not in ai it doesn't exist and mm. so so people i think are going to get dependent upon it and won't be able to make decisions without saying well should i throw those underwear out now or <laughs> too old or what you know i don't know where i am on this there's certain times where i think it, it is a little scary <laughs> But I think there's some good aspects to it, too. I don't know. I don't know. It's I think you should be scared because Emily came to me the other day and said you could save a lot of money by replacing Doug with AI. I tell you what. Aren't you, you worried you... about your job, Douglas? Maybe we need to do a live, <laughs> an episode where I'm entering questions into that chat GPT and we'll see what it spits out. And I'll bet you it won't be as funny as what we normally do. Do you think... No. That yes. people will be able to tell the difference between, like, a real photo and oh, chat no, GPT? No, no, Because there's already people that can't do that, nah. That's already out. And it's only going to get better faster. What if we try to stump it? Stump Like, if GPT. we go to the AI picture maker... Yeah. And we say, okay... 
And we make, put some totally pencil in. Make me a picture of Bell chicken Schnickel, pot Bell pie. Schnickel eating red beet eggs. Yeah. And see what it spits on. Yeah. Show me an Elbedrich. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. This what? Is, this is pot pie. Is it have a crust? Or? Oh, you know what ChatGPT is going to spit on. It's going it to well, it's going to be the wrong thing. Probably. So. Our challenge to all of you, the funniest, ridiculous. Go into these photo, these AI photo generators. There's tons Pennsylvania of them. Pennsylvania Dutch topics. Go Google search. Dump it. Google search photo AI or whatever, and you put in something. We want to see the most Pennsylvania Dutch thing and see what it spits on. Send it to us. Post it in the comment section down below or on the Facebook page, PA Dutch 101. And we'll, I can't wait to see some of this stuff. Oh, I think it's going to be good. Can we stump? I don't think it's going to get it right because there's nuances that it ain't mm. going to understand. Well, even the historical photos. You Stuffed see pig stomach. Like Stuffed fingers. pig stomach. Can you imagine that? What it would spit out for that? Oh, my gosh. Do your homework, people, and try and stump chat GP, uh, photo, AI, just try to stump AI. wonder what it would give us for a powwow. That's what I mean. It'll be, it won't be what, you, and then we'll be able to say, we told you so. Yeah. We'll show chat I GPT, am not, we don't need it. I am not replaceable. This is, Doug, <laughs> this is a John Henry moment, like John Henry against yeah, the, and the steam, steam drill. Yeah, the steam drill, yeah. This is, this is us against the AI. Yeah, but listen, what happens to John Henry? He wins. No, he don't. Well, he wins, but then he dies. Well, it's a small price oh, to small pay for besting the machine. <laughs> oh. Seriously, post photos of you trying, putting Pennsylvania Dutch topics <coughs> into one of these AI photo generators. Don't you generators. think this could backfire on us, though? No, I don't because think so. Because you're asking all these people to go engage, and then it'll teach engage it. with the oh. thing that we're saying is going to take over the world so if we say go do this they're all going to be captivated by the ai and we're going to lose them yeah don't at mess your, with ai at your own risk don't, like, why don't, don't we say that it, at don't. your own risk yeah. have your grandkid do it have somebody ready to unplug the computer you know, if it starts spitting. set a timer say honey unplug the computer in 30 minutes in that's case an it idea. gets me that's an idea i would like to see some of these photos though do you think you know, like, it'll become, you know, bedtime stories for kids. Like, oh, the AI is going to get me. Instead There's of like AI the, inst living under the bed. Oh, well, maybe. The Alexa will say that to them for us. We won't even have to say it. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's rough. Yeah. It's going to put the Belschnickel out of a job, too. Don't, don't do like it. it. Don't do it. Don't, All right, don't mess enough. with AI. But if you decide to do it, post the photo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah we want to see if you do do it. Yeah, that's right. If you do but do don't. it. But don't. But don't. <laughs> right, right. Okay, Mr. LaRose. All right, well, I think you heard it from AI the... probably sent this video to somebody to watch. Yeah. That's what, so in that case, it's good. AI so, probably but, already made this. So AI made this video before we even Probably did. don't yeah, even need probably. to finish That's this one. That's true, yeah, maybe, I don't know. No, we better finish it just in case. Yeah. All right. All right, well, you heard it from the Dutchman. And we are real. We're real We're not fake. Now. We're not fake. Well, Doug No, is... we are not. No, we are irreplaceable. Give it time. Get, come on, man. <laughs> I held you in higher esteem than that. <laughs> I'm I, kidding. I, I, I don't think you are. Well, say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mox Mox Goon. Goon. If you have a question, why well, you have to email us at info at pa-dutch101.com.